Welcome. Uh, what I want to do <clears throat> is show you how to find the distance between these two coordinate points. So what we're going to do um, between these two coordinate points, since it's kind of be hard to graph these, if you look at I have uh, the square root of 3 here, which is going to be pretty difficult to uh, graph on a coordinate plane to use other methods. So what I can use is our distance formula. And what the distance formula is, is the distance between any two points is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1. And just to go through again what exactly x2 and x1 are, or y2 and y1, remember each of these are a coordinate point, meaning they have an x and a y coordinate. Well, to differentiate between the x coordinates and the y coordinates, we're going to give them subscripts 1 and 2. So the only reason why we just use the 1 and 2 is just to differentiate between the two coordinate points. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to evaluate um, by plugging in my coordinate points into the equation. So I'll just rewrite it here. So I'll say the distance is equal to the square root, x2 is square root of 3, minus 5 square root of 3. And then we have, that's in parentheses, oh, I'm sorry, squared, plus y2, which is negative 5, minus y1, which is negative 4 squared. So it's really important one, I'm sorry, just kind of a little forgot I was writing down. Make sure you square it. It's, the actual formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So make sure we got that. Okay, just a little mental lapse by me. Then the other thing to make sure is it's x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. So here I had y2 and then I had minus the y1. You've got to make sure you put those in parentheses. A lot of students will not put them in parentheses and they'll just do negative 5 minus 4. We got to make sure that it's minus a negative. So put them in other parentheses just to make sure. So here what we have is um, square root of 3 minus, so it pretty much be the same thing as just kind of like 1 minus 5, which is going to be a negative 4 square root of 3 squared plus negative 5 plus a negative 4. Well, I'm sorry, negative 5 minus a negative 4. That's a double negative. It's going to turn to a positive 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is a negative 1 squared. And all of this is square root. So now I just need to square this. Well, this one's pretty easy. Negative 1 times, remember, squaring means that number multiplied by itself. Negative 1 times negative 1 is obviously just going to be 1. Now, negative 4 times square root of 3 times negative 4 times square root of 3, what we're going to have to do is um, multiply uh, the negative 4, so it looks something like this. Negative 4 square root of 3 times negative 4 square root of 3. Well, we can multiply these two digits, the negative 4 times negative 4, which give me a positive 16, and then three times square root of 3 times three square root of 3 is square root of 3 squared, which is just 3. 3 times 16 is going to be 48. So I have 48 plus 1, and these all still equal to distance. Then, under a radical expression, I can add them or combine them. So I get the square root of 49. Then, to take the square root of 49, our distance is going to be a positive 7. Um, because remember, distance always has to be in the positive, uh, positive quantity. So therefore, our distance in this, uh, in this example is 7. So I hope that uh, helps you out, and I hope you made a, a good example for you. Thanks for watching.